What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our series where we look at the best players per position for all budgets. Today we're taking a look at box to box centre midfielders. A lot of people asking me about this and it's probably the most important position on the pitch in my opinion. For the play style that I have and how I actually you know set up my team I need a really kind of good action man in the middle of the field to be able to go from box to box end to end defending attacking breaking up the play breaking up tackles disrupting passing lanes the ai helping you out with it so assisted that you're able to just get automatic interceptions and blocks and contextual stuff it's all about you know putting the right player in the right position right so attacking wise it's all about getting on the end of stuff you know having that extra man to push in if you are not playing an amf or even if you are playing an amf that's very suited to passing and dribbling and you know maybe not more of a kind of a powerhouse then you do need to have an engine man in the middle of the pitch you know that's able to just get up and down the pitch and do everything at a very good standard it doesn't have to be exceptional nothing that Goretzka does you're seeing in the clips here is going to be exceptional but it's all about different things um, that you're going to be doing the positioning and as you see here always creating an option so we are going to start by setting up a team right if you are looking at a formation this is a very good formation. I think that's going to come into prominence once V2.4 comes. I think we will have gameplay changes. I will be doing a video on that. And all we've done here is have our three at the back. We've got our five midfield and it's all center midfielders. So we don't have any anchorman or DMF. It's all CMFs. And then similar with this one, we are kind of playing a Christmas tree formation. So you've got your five center midfielders more centrally. And all you're going to be doing here, right, is you're going to have Valverde and Goretzka breaking things up being the engine men. McKinney is your defensive kind of guy, but still being able to get forward with his AI. And then Pedri and Bellingham more as kind of uh, guys with pressure up the pitch. So we are going to start with Barella, lads, the Inter Milan man. He featured in my last episode as well, which was centre midfielders, creative centre midfielders, passers, dribblers, really guys that can turn the game for you with a, with a key pass. But he also features in this episode as well. He's double dipping. He's on A rating at the time of this. But look what he trains up to when we train him defensively. Insane. Aggression 92, 87 tackling, 89 defensive engagement. And then you've got very good two great stats for ball control dribbling tight possession low pass and lofted pass as well as excellent stamina speed and acceleration in the 80s and all the player skills that you could possibly want if you're looking for a more defensive option without playing a dmf um mckenny is insane lads i mean obviously uh, he's got a new transfer now so that will be reflected when they next do the transfer update but the thing i like about mckenny is his player skills are really good he's one of the best center midfielders in the game with the player skills interception blocker and fighting spirit as well as one touch pass so he's got all the passing stats you want on skills he's got all the defensive passing stats and skills 90 aggression tackling 85 and you double that up with blocker and interception and you fill your center midfield even though the ball can uh, go past central midfield very easily with one touch pass and if you're coming up against a good opponent you will get blocks and passing lanes if you've set your team up right and this is how we train him next up we've got Valverde going through these a bit quick lads so feel free to pause them if you want to see the stat upgrades Valverde is all about action and speed he's not going to be the most um, aggressive uh, in terms of when he's on the ball going forward with the ball but he is going to be super, super, super aggressive when he doesn't have the ball. So I kind of think of him as like a Kante type player. Um, he goes to a 91, 92 overall, depending on how you train him up. This is how we train him up here. Uh, obviously, you have to give two into his long ball counter or whatever team play style you want. But he does have really good player skills as well. And then that speed. It's all about acceleration and defense with him. 86 aggression, 89 acceleration. That tells you all you need to know. Next up, we have got Bellingham. One of the most prized possessions in football at the moment. One of the hidden gems that was there at the start of eFootball 2023. More so because he didn't have a club and it was more difficult to find him. But yeah, I mean, obviously Bellingham needs no introduction, lads. One of the best players in the world. Absolute beast of a player. Had a really good World Cup and will continue to attract a lot of attention. This is how we've trained him up. He's probably going to be due a big move to a big uh, Premier League club or maybe Barcelona or someone like that. I don't know, but... I definitely think he's one of the best players in the game. And as well as with the price point as well, as you're looking at 140,000 GP, for a player like that with those stats on wavering form, insane. Speaking of insane, we have got Limar. This guy has got a no club. He is a current Austrian international. And this guy first came to prominence with me, I'd say, in a hidden gem series I did way back when with eFootball22. 
And it's, co- it's good to see that he's still there or thereabouts, right? All of these players, even though they are box-to-box kind of action men, um, that can kind of do multiple roles and multiple jobs on the pitch, they still do have all the player skills that you need. Interception, one-touch pass, fighting spirit, sliding tackle. Um, you know, all of these are, are a must when you are playing against the top, top guys and coming up against epics. And if you're building a squad as a newcomer, these are going to be players that help you out more so if you are looking for a player that can just tick a lot of boxes, right? And again, you can see this guy's stats. Now, last but not least, we do have Goretzka. Even though these aren't in any particular order, it just depends on your budget and whether you like to look at a player to try him out. I definitely recommend Goretzka. I know a few people will say that um, there are better players than Goretzka there. Like Barella it does actually train up a little bit better than Goretzka in terms of pound for pound, in terms of stat for stat. But I just feel there's something about Goretzka, man. You saw the clips at the start. I think his AI is exceptional and he has the perfect, perfect balance when we train him up like this between offensive and defensive awareness. He's got 80 offensive to bring up his acceleration to 77, 83 speed, 86 stamina, and then he's got the rest into his defense. Low pass 80, that's all you need. He's not going to be the most, you know, technical player, but that's why you need to have one of the creative midfielders or a top class AMF beside him if you are going to be playing that formation and then have somebody in the hole. He will just chase, 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 chase all day, lads. So that is it for my box-to-box center midfielders. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the series. Check out some other videos, other positions in this series. And we'll be back quite soon, lads. Peace. Looking forward to V2.4. Going to be doing a few videos on that because there are big changes coming. Peace.